Made it to all you sports fans out there. Week five of the NFL is upon us. We're coming at you with our picks. So stick around, grab some popcorn, grab your soda, grab your sheets, and let's get to it. You know, week three was a very, very good week uh, as far as winning more than losing. Oh, we went, what did we do? 12 and 9 in week three, or week three, okay? Last week, not so well. Uh, 8 and 11. Ugh. 8 up, 11 down. That's not good either. Some games, man, they were just flip-flopped. I had games that you'd never expect to go one way, they did. Well, anyway, we're at week five now, so let's get right into the picks. We've got Tampa Bay at uh, 8.20 on Thursday evening. They're going up to Chicago and uh, they're going to be seen on Fox Network, NFL Network, and Amazon. I guess it's Amazon Network TV or whatever it is. But Tampa's at Chicago. Nick Foles came in and fooled me. I'll tell you, I thought the, the Bears were a miracle team and playing very well. Uh, they, they, they got beat by a team that I think they shouldn't have gotten beat by. And that was the Colts. I guess the Colts... They're coming to play my Brownies this week. Uh, I guess the Colts, they, with Phillip Rivers now at the helm, they must be pretty good. But anyway, uh, we're going to take the Bears. Yes, we are. We're going to take the four and a half. The over-under, it's a 44. Not going to touch it. Uh, moving on, go 1 p.m. Fox. Huh, interesting game. The Rams are at the football team, the Washington football team. Laying five and a half or seven and a half on the road, the Rams are. Washington, that team, I've seen them. I watched them a little bit last week against the Ravens. I watched them the week before against the Browns. Uh, uh, that thing, that that team, they've got they've got some problems. The Rams, they they played the Giants at home and struggled in that game. So you know what? I don't think they should be laying seven and a half. I look for Washington. Right now, to cover that game, getting seven and a half at home, the 45 is the over and under, not going to touch it. Moving on to one o'clock CBS, this game's a question mark. I don't see a line on it, and I don't know why, if it's COVID, but it's Buffalo at Tennessee, so there's nothing on that. If I had to pick that game, um, <laughs> how can you pick it? Because Tennessee's had a bunch of people out and no practice and things like that. Just, I, I just, I, honestly, guys, I got no opinion on that game. Moving on, one o'clock on Fox Sunday. Philadelphia goes into Pittsburgh. Now, Philadelphia, uh, this team is another team you can't figure out. I mean, how did they go into San Francisco and beat San Francisco last week? How? I, I mean, it just, I, I don't understand it. But they did. They went into San Francisco and beat them. Um, my golly, they're going into Pittsburgh. They're getting seven. Steelers minus seven. The 44 and a half are over or under. Uh, I'm going to take Philly. I'll tell you what. I'm going to take Philly because they're getting seven. And uh, that's a lot of points. I mean, it, it is a lot of points against a, a, you know, a Pittsburgh team that may or may not have it this year. We don't know yet. Okay. Uh, moving on to one o'clock Fox, Arizona Cardinals at the New York Jets and the Cardinals are minus seven on the road against the Jets. I'll lay that all day. I do not care. I think the Jets are horrible. 47s are over under, not going to touch it. Uh, moving on, going to one o'clock CBS. We've got the Raiders and they're going in to Kansas City. Kansas City start now 4-0. The only team in history, I think, four straight years in history to start out 4-0. Well, guess what? They're going to be 5-0. But they're laying 13. I don't like them laying 13. And I'm not going to take them laying 13 because it's a rivalry game. It can be a bloodbath. These rivalry games, throw that line out the window. The Raiders are going to come into Kansas City, and I like them to cover. Now, the over-under is 56 Throughout the, these next picks, you're going to see the over and under way up. I mean, all these games are high. Why? Because they're scoring points like mad. 
Why? Well, there was no there was no preseason. These defenses are not up to speed with these offenses. These most of these defenses now take the Cowboys for instance, great offense, defense is non-existent, non-existent. Um these defenses don't haven't figure out figured out who who's even playing on them? You know, we're, who should be starting? Who should be playing? I mean, it's, it's just, it's a crapshoot right now. People are thrown into the mix, if you understand what that means, okay? So moving on, um, we're going to take the Raiders plus the 13. The over under 56 and a half, not going to take it. One o'clock, Jacksonville goes to Houston. Houston just fired their coach. Right flat off Jump Street, 0 and 4, they start off. They're better. They're way better than 0 and 4. Even if they would have kept their coach, uh, Jacksonville, that's a miserable team. I like I said, I think they're in the Trevor Lawrence sweepstakes. But how did they go to Indianapolis in Week One and beat Indianapolis? I have no idea. Um, I'm going to actually uh, lay the six and a half and take the Houston Texans against the Jacksonville Jags. You're 54. And a half is your over and under, and uh, not really going to touch that either. Moving on, one o'clock CBS, you got the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow looking good. He's going into Baltimore, and I'll tell you what, Baltimore is a tough place to play in front of all those fans. All those fans, Mayday. They don't have any fans. Well, that's going to give Joe Burrow a little bit of an advantage. The PA announcer won't be able to psych Joe Burrow out getting 13 points. You got to love this game, a rivalry game. I love it. Cincinnati getting 13. The over-under is 51 and a half. Take the over. I like the over, and we're going to take it. Bada-boom, bada-bing, bada-bang. Moving on, Carolina goes into Atlanta. One o'clock. On Fox. And guess what? Atlanta should never be given anybody points. I don't care if they're at home or away. They're laying two and a half. I like Carolina. 54s are over. And uh, I like the over in this game also. They both can score. This will be a back and forth game. And it'll be decided probably on a field goal to win by one or two in the end. Uh, Miami moving on 405 on Fox. Look at this. The Dolphins at San Francisco. This is a question mark game too. There's no line on it. We don't know what's going on in that game. If I had to pick it, I can't pick it because I don't know what's going on. Moving on 425 PM CBS, New York Giants at the Dallas Cowboys, horrible defense and the Giants horrible everything, but somehow played great against the Rams in Los Angeles last week. Don't know what happened to the Giants, but you know what? A team getting 10 points, uh, and it's the Giants. Uh, Cowboys defense really stinks, but I think it's going to be good enough to, uh, to beat the... Uh, this is a coin flip, guys. I'm going to take the Giants in this game. I can't lay the 10 to that horrible defense. I'm sorry. 54s are over and under. I'm going to take the over in that That also. They might have that at halftime. Um, moving on. Uh, 425 on CBS. The Indianapolis Colts travel to my Brownies. And they're actually coming to Cleveland and giving the Browns two. Is that a slap in the face? That should have never happened right now. Not the way the Browns are going, but the Browns defense it stinks, but I'll tell you, it's mystical, magical what they're doing. Uh, I think they got a taste in that second half last week against Dallas of what needs to be done this week. Phillip Rivers, you're going down, buddy. Garrett's going to come after you, and I'm going to take the Brownies. Getting the two. 47s, you're over and under. Well, what do you think? The Browns can put 47 on the on the board themselves. Let's go with the over in that game. Let's go with the over. Both teams will score in the 30s on that game. One team might have 40, and that team, you know who I'm talking about. That team will be the Brownies. And Denver, uh, moving on, 425, CBS, 
Denver, New, Denver at New England, that's a question mark game. No line, no over-under on that game. Don't know what's going on as of yet, so we can't really pick that game. 8-20 moving on Sunday night, where we've got the Vikings going to Seattle, and the Vikings getting seven. The Vikings were, I think, in a coma the first couple of weeks. They went down to Houston, won a game, uh, you know, last week. Uh, first week, they got beat by Tennessee in the, by the skin of their teeth, which Tennessee's a good ball club. Seattle laying seven and uh, at home. Everyone might look at this and go, that's a great pick. You know what? Take the running game. Take Cook. He can run and take the Vikings. They're back, baby. They're going to start playing. The over and under 57 and a half. Don't want to touch it. Here we come. Monday night, ESPN, 815. We've got the LA Chargers. The Bolts going into the Saints. And New Orleans is laying seven and a half. This game's going to be back and forth battle, and don't be if don't be surprised if the Saints get clobbered on their head and get beat in, in their home uh, stadium, guys. This is my steam game. It's the Monday night game. Getting seven and a half, the Chargers will probably win the game. Not saying they're going to, but I think they might. Don't want them to. They're in the AFC. Rather have the Saints beat them. 51's your over and under. That's going through the roof. <laughs> that's, that's an over. Up and over. Well, guys, that's your week five pick from TD Mayday. And don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button right now. Nobody says you can't subscribe to every every everybody you watch. Uh, it's an advantage to you. My my, You don't have to hit that bell or anything, but my uh, videos will show up in your recommended box first second or third or right away and you won't you won't uh miss my videos if you like watching my videos and i like having you watch my videos guys let's hope this week everything turns out great on what our picks are if you're taking what i'm taking i hope the best for you if you're not uh taking what i'm taking i still hope the best for you um so here we go brownies and here we go your team you know i love you and may day is out of here